Devri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 28. Echaz was 20 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 16 years in Yerushalayim. But he did not that which was right in the sight of Yahweh, like David his father. For he walked in the ways of the kings of Yashadael, and made also molten images for Baalim. Moreover, he burnt incense in the valley of the son of Hinnom, and burnt at his children in the fire after the abominations of the heathen, whom Yahuwah had cast out before the children of Yashadael. He sacrificed also and burnt incense in the high places and on the hills and under every green tree. Wherefore Yahuwah Eloheyu delivered him into the hand of the king of Aram, and they smote him, and carried away a great multitude of them captives, and brought them to Damascus. And he was also delivered into the hand of the king of Yashara'el, who smote him with a great slaughter. For Pichach, the son of Eramel Yahu, slew in Yahuda a hundred and twenty thousand in one day, which were all valiant men, because they had forsaken Eth Yahuwah Elohai of their fathers. And Zikri, a mighty man of Ephraim, slew Eth Ma'aseh the king's son. And Eth Azri Kham, the governor of the house, and Eth Elchanan, that was next to the king. And the children of Yashadael carried away captive of their brethren two hundred thousand women, sons, and daughters, and took also away Eth much spoil from them, and brought the spoil to Shomoron. But a prophet of Yahuwah was there, whose name was Oded. And he went out before the host that came to Shomoron, and said unto them, Behold, because Yahweh Elohai of your fathers was wroth with Yahudah, he has delivered them into your hand, and ye have slain them in a rage that reaches up unto heaven. And now ye purpose to keep under the children of Yahudah and Yerushalayim for bondmen and bondwomen unto you. But are there not with you, even with you, sins against Yahuwah Elohech, Elohechem? Now hear me, therefore, and deliver the captives again, which ye have taken captive of your brethren, for the fierce wrath of Yahuwah is upon you. Then certain of the heads of the children of Ephraim, Azar Yahu, the son of Yahuchanan, Berach Yahu, the son of Meshilemoth, and Yahiz Kiyahu, the son of Shalom, and Amasa, the son of Chalda, rather, Chadle, stood up against them that came from the war, and said unto them, Ye shall not bring in at the captives hither. For whereas we have offered against Yahweh already, ye intend to add more to our sins and to our trespass. For our trespass is great, and there is fierce wrath against Yashara'el. So the armed men left at the captives and at the spoil before the princes and all the assembly, and the men which were expressed by name rose up and took the captives and with the spoil clothed all that were naked among them and arrayed them and shod them and gave them to eat and to drink and anointed them and carried all the feeble of them upon asses and brought them to Yericho, the city of palm trees, to their brethren then they returned to Shomoron. At that time did King Ahaz send unto the kings of Ashur 
to help him. For again the Adamim had come and smitten Yahuda and carried away captives. The Pelishtim also had invaded the cities of the low country and of the Negev of Yahuda, and had taken Eth Beth Shemesh and Eth Elian, rather Eelan, and Eth Geroroth, and Eth Soko, with the villages thereof, and Eth Timna, with the villages thereof, Eth Gimzo also, and Eth the villages thereof, and they dwelt there. For Yahuwah brought Eth Yahuda low because of Ahaz, king of Yashar'el. For he made Yahuda naked and transgressed sore against Yahuwah. And Tiglath Pil Eser, king of Ashshur, came unto him and distressed him, but strengthened him, strengthened him not. For Ahaz took away a portion out of Eth, the house of Yahuwah, and out of Eth, the house of the king, and out of the princes, and gave it unto the king of Ashshur, but he helped him not. And in the time of his distress did he transgress yet more against Yahuwah. This is that king, Ahaz. For he sacrificed unto the Elohim of Damascus, which smote him. And he said, Because the Elohim of the kings of Aram help them, therefore will I sacrifice to them, that they may help me. But they were the ruin of him and of all Yashareel. And Ahaz gathered together Eth, the vessels of the house of Elohim, and cut in pieces Eth, the vessels of the house of Elohim, and shut up at the doors of the house of Yahweh, and he made him altars in every corner of Yerushalayim. And in every several city of Yahuda, he made high places to burn incense unto other Elohim, and provoked to anger at Yahuwah Elohai of his fathers. Now the rest of his acts, and of all his ways, first and last, behold, they are written in the Sefer of the kings of Yahuda and Yashar'el. And Ahaz slept with his fathers, and they buried him in the city, even in Yerushalayim. But they brought him not into the sepulchres of the kings of Yashar'el. And Yahiz Kiyahu, his son, reigned in his stead.